Hello and welcome to the Multimedia Labs tutorials on how to use Final Cut Pro X. Now to start we're going to show you how to set up everything so that you can continue working on your projects in the Multimedia Lab. So as you can see here I have a folder with a ton of different video clips that we recorded earlier today. And I'm going to start by creating a folder for myself on the desktop. We're going to call this Mark's Project. And we are going to pretend like that first folder is our flash drive or maybe we just downloaded all these from our email. And we are going to copy and put all those locally on the computer in that folder we just created. This will help us out later in case the file goes missing. We have something to go back to in case you uh, don't bring your flash drive or can't access your email. At least we have an original copy living on the desktop. So once all of that is in our new folder, we are ready to open up Final Cut Pro. And once you open it up, it looks like this. And we are going to set up some files first. So we're going to go to the very top and hit File, New, and Library. These library files contain everything that we're going to work on and all the auto saves that Final Cut does. So it's important that you name this something that you will know <laughs> what it is. And it also needs to be saved to the folder we created on the desktop. And you can see in the directory below it says Mark's Project, so it is going to the right place. So once we have hit saved, we are ready to start importing some media. And there's a couple different ways that you can do that. You can click that Import Media button in the center, or you can go to the top, hit File Import, and then you get the same window that lets you look around your computer for all the files you want to import. So we're going to go to desktop and navigate till we find Mark's project folder and we're going to select all of these clips. The quick way to do that is to click on the top one, go to the bottom, hold shift on the keyboard and click that one and that will select the entire range of clips. Now that we have them all highlighted before we hit import in the bottom right, we're going to make sure it says copy to library in the top right. That's just another insurance step in case something horribly went wrong. It is copying all of your footage to the library file in your folder. That might be overkill on the information on file structure and everything, but uh, just know that this is all to make sure that it'd be really, really hard for you to lose that footage you worked so hard to get. So once all of that is imported, we're going to go to the top and hit File and Project. Now this is going to be the video we are going to edit together. So where it says project name, go ahead and type in whatever you want your final video to be called. This doesn't need to be perfect because we'll be able to change this at the end. Uh, let's go with Dancing Jason. And below here's a whole bunch of different settings if you had a really specific output you were looking for for your video, but for the most part, you're going to be shooting at 1080p HD um, with all of the default settings. Uh, 60p is um, 60 frames per second. That will look weird to most people's eyes and most people aren't shooting with that frame rate. So we're going to go to 30p and hit OK. And once you have imported all of your footage and named your project, you are ready to start dragging clips and cutting them together in the project timeline. In our next video, we'll go over all the different ways to cut things together and work with your media. If you have any other questions or would like one-on-one -on -one help, come by the Multimedia Lab in CP005.